Ladies and gentlemen, the new Panamera GTS. Please welcome the Executive Vice President for Research and Development, Mr. Wolfgang Hutz. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and a welcome to the world premiere of our all new Porsche Panamera GTS. As you have just seen in our short film, it is an uncompromising sports car for four in the shape of a limousine. I'm very happy that two of our race drivers, who already had a first chance and experience with the Panamera GTS, are here with us today. Please welcome Romain Dumas and Patrick Long. Thanks for joining, Romain, Thank you. and also Patrick. Romain, I noticed that you did not give Patrick a lift in the new Panamera. Can you tell me why? Well, of course, you know, we both wanted to drive the car, but when we, we figured it out, who would drive it? If, if you saw the film, my other three colleagues just jumped into <laughs> the car, and there was no room available for Patrick, <laughs> no seat left. <laughs> so that was very respectful, Patrick, to give the senior champ the first chance for the drive. Yeah, I don't know if it was respect, but I consider myself a pretty nervous passenger, so uh, I figured I'd give him the first dibs and uh, get him back on the racetrack the next time we meet. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I let you guys, guys sort it out. Thank you very much again for joining, ladies and gentlemen, Patrick Dumas and uh, oh, Romain Dumas and Patrick Lang. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, fit for the road and fit for the track. This has always been a unique strength of all Porsche cars. At Porsche, GTS stands for Gran Turismo Sport, promising extraordinary Porsche performance ever since the legendary 904 Carrera GTS back in 1963. With the new Panamera GTS, we have taken this trend to a new level. We can say no other four-seater has a similar racetrack capability. The new Panamera GTS is custom-made for Porsche enthusiasts who want a Gran Turismo for everyday use and at the same time an uncompromising sports car for racetrack experiences. For their pleasure, we have, took, we have put together a chassis package with air suspension and adaptive damping, with a lowered suspension and a more powerful braking system. The interior as well is designed to sportiness with adaptive sports seats, sport steering wheel with shift paddles and an exclusive GTS leather Alcantara interior. The power unit in the new Panamera GTS is a modified 4.8 liter, 430 horsepower uh, engine, and the maximum torque is also increased to 384 foot pound. With a further developed Porsche Doppelkupplungsgetriebe, PDK, Porsche Traction Management, Sport Chrono Package, the Panamera GTS does a sprint to 60 miles per hour below 4.3 seconds. The top speed is up to 178 miles per, per hour. Its fuel economy is equally impressive. Just 10.7 liter per 100 kilometer in the European driving cycle. Deceleration is provided by the top braking system of the Panamera Turbo and is therefore no less impressive than the launch control start at 5,500 RPM. In brief, the new Panamera GTS represents everything Porsche stands for. It's a 100% Porsche DNA. Which, of course, bring me, brings me to the second car we present here at the LA Auto Show. California has always been its second home. America, its biggest market. American customers among its most loyal enthusiasts. It is the icon, 
the benchmark, the heart and soul of our brand. The success in the States is also the fruit of an impressive performance of our US colleagues and dealers. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my friend Detlef von Platen, CEO and President, Porsche Cars, North America. Hi, Detlef. Thank you, Wolfgang. <laughs> and uh, by the way, this video about the Panamera GTS, I like it. It's pretty cool, <laughs> I like right? it too. Yeah. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's just fitting to have the official North American premiere of the new 911 in Southern California, the largest Porsche market in the United States and the largest sport market in the world. Since 1970, we have sold almost 273,000 911 carriers in the United States. Almost 50% of the 911 sold worldwide. In, even more impressive, more than 80% of them are still on the road today. So, it's a true pleasure for me and for us to unveil the next new 911 generation right here in Los Angeles. Let's do it. <laughs> I, like the beauty? I like it. I like it, right? And you know, for, you know, Wolfgang, for the past 48 years, the 911 has not just been ultimate performance machine, but one that should be driven every day. And it's even more true when you look at this new seventh generation, uh, right? It's a beautiful car, and it's really absolutely an entire new car. We engineers had the rare chance to develop a complete new car. We increased the performance to 350 horsepower for the Carrera and 400 horsepower for the Carrera S. Our aluminum steel hybrid body reduces the weight of the bodywork about 80 kilograms. We stretched the wheelbase by four inches and we increased the track on the front by two inches. There are so many new features on the car I could tell about, uh, but I think it would take hours. But as an overall result, the acceleration 0 to 60 miles per hour is just 3.9 seconds on the Carrera S, and we are talking about a top speed of 188 miles per hour. All that combined with a fuel economy improvement up to 16%. In a few words, the new 911 stands for more performance, more efficiency, more emotion. It is just the best 911 ever. Wolfgang, your guys, your engineers in Weiser did a fantastic job again, creating the best 911 ever again. The new cars goes on sales on February 4th, 2012, so we have to wait a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, the other good news is that the demand of our products in here in the United States, across the United States, is growing. Not just the 911, but all of our model lines. In fact, our sales were up 30% last year, and again, are up 23% so far this year. So for 2011, we expect sales in North America, including Canada, to reach over 30,000 cars in 2011. Therefore, our clear intention is to invest. To invest more in the United States to help continue this growth and boost Porsche driving experience and driving pleasure. Some of you may remember that we announced earlier this year that we would build a very unique new headquarters in Atlanta, which would include a small Porsche museum, a classic restoration facility, and a Porsche Experience Center. And this, ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly part of Porsche's growth strategy. We are not just selling cars, but we are rather delivering a unique Porsche experience to our customers. And today, I'm very pleased and very honored 
to announce that we will build a second, a second new Porsche Experience Center in North America, just 20 minutes away from here in Carson, California. The 53-acre facility will be located near the intersection of two major Los Angeles area traffic arteries, the 405 and 110 freeways. The centerpiece of this complex will be a world-class test truck and handling course, double the, size, double the size of the truck in Atlanta. The Bosch Experience Center will also offer a human performance center, focusing on maximizing personal fitness wellness and athletic performance and incorporating exactly incorporating the latest techniques we are using for preparing our Porsche race drivers. <laughs> Helping enthusiasts feel and connect with their vehicle's full potential through intelligent performance, through intelligent engineering has always been a part of the Porsche philosophy. Groundbreaking is anticipated to be in summer 2012. And ladies and gentlemen, in total, between both locations, Porsche is investing over $100 million in these facilities, which shows, clearly shows Porsche's commitment to the United States. So, <laughs> so Wolfgang, with new products, like the Panamera GTS, the seventh generation 911, and with all these experiences that what we will offer in Atlanta and here in Los Angeles, we plan to continue to build the Porsche brand and very important to keep it very, very special. Thank you. These are, these are really indeed good news, Detlef, and I'm sure we also will use those facilities from R&D here. And uh, I'm really very proud that we have those possibilities also here in California to test our cars. Thank you. Thank you board. very much, ladies and gentlemen, for your attendance. And uh, please, thank you very much that you joined us.